Excellency, Lady Allen, who is also the chief volunteer here, uh, Mr. Little and Shirley, um, of the uh, Chairman of the Southeast Regional Hospital Authority, Health Authority, Mr. Anthony Wood, the uh, CEO of Bustamante Hospital. I want to acknowledge Tina Madelon, who's Director of Marketing for Restaurants of Jamaica, and there's also Trina Lowe from Restaurants of Jamaica. <laughs> Uh, from Lyme, we have er Mr. Errol Miller and Camille Taylor, Kingston Bookstore, Sonia Fuller and Garfield Dixon, uh, members of staff of Bustamante Hospital, and um, other representatives of Lyme, Floor, or Kingston Bookshops. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be here, and this is a day that we've I know there's been a lot of work going on over the uh, last week or two, and up to up to Saturday we were here, and and I was being assured that we'd be ready for this morning. Although in some ways we were, we we were wondering, but great great work being done. We're pleased to join everyone here this morning to officially open this refurbished Bustamante Hospital Learning Center. I know that the contractor and the volunteers, as I said, have been working very hard over the last uh, the last week or two, and I'm sure anyone who has been here before and comes today will realize how much of a transformation has happened uh, and how much effort has been been put into this. It truly is is amazing. Over the, uh, over the past week as well, I should acknowledge that Joylene Griffith Irving, who is Executive Director of our Foundation, and the volunteers were so inspired by the work done here that as I came on Saturday, it was pointed out to me that they also have done a lot of refurbishing in the main entrance and have been painting things, and I see flower pots throughout the, <laughs> the hospital that, that have miraculously appeared, and I keep joking that I guess I'm going to get some unexpected bills next week, but, uh, <laughs> but they were so inspired by, uh, by what they're doing, and it's just great to see all of the, all of the effort. This, uh, we're really excited about what this refurbished learning center will, will mean, and I'm sure those that are involved in education will realize that there's been a lot of research done that shows that the environment that students are learning in makes such a difference in the retention and what, uh, what they get out of it. Um, and that's the reason that we're doing this, is both to provide expanded facilities to make it more comfortable to ensure that there's, there's more resources. Um, we also hope that the Learning Center and by this refurbishment will make it more comfortable for the children. You know, we all talk about the fact that uh, the children are our future and, and it's important that even while here in the hospital and facing all kinds of other challenges that they have the opportunity to learn, to grow, to keep up with their studies. Uh, in a few weeks, thousands of children around Jamaica will sit the GSAT exams and among them will be several students that have been attending here. And so it's a great opportunity for them to, to focus more on their studies and, and we hope that with all of this that it will improve their chances in the GSAT. Now over the years, Scotia Foundation has helped improve the environment and delivery of health care to so many hospitals. University Hospital of the West Indies, the Port Antonio Hospital, Cornwall Regional Hospital, the Victoria Jubilee, Kingston Public Hospital. However, as the staff here know, our connection with Bustamante goes back a long, long way. I think over, ten, over 10 years through the foundation, almost since its beginning, that we've been doing volunteer work and have been contributing, and that's because of the importance of the work, both in Jamaica and regionally, that is done and supporting the children. Over the past 10 years or more, Scotia volunteers have spent hundreds of hours in direct service, and we also have supported other initiatives, Shaggy and Friends Foundation, we were supporting the Sigma Corporate Run this year that was giving money here, and we've also supported Bustamante directly, most recently in terms of funding some heart surgeries for children. Um, and again, it's because of the importance of the future uh, the children have to the future of Jamaica and to, to the region. Uh, no doubt it's that same reason that Restaurants of Jamaica came on board so willingly as a partner. 
when the scope of the project expanded and, and we realized what all was entailed, uh, we reached out to Tina Madelon and, and they jumped into the project uh, amazingly willingly and the commitment same, came so quickly. And what we realized is the work they've been doing over seven or eight years in terms of building out uh, learning centers in public libraries around the country has been a project they've been doing. So when we approached them, and we weren't aware of that when we approached them, but it just made such a great partnership. Uh, Tina had, had indicated to us that their company's vision at Restaurant of Jamaica's aim as an organization is to help empower Jamaica's young people so that they will be able to achieve and become equipped to serve as nation builders. So again, Tina, I want to thank you for Restaurant of Jamaica's coming on board and partnering us. We'd also like to recognize our other uh, partners, Kingston Bookshop, uh, the leader, leading supplier of, of books in the region for supplying a selection of grade one for grade six and GSAP preparation materials to the center. The center had been operating with a, a very spotty collection of, of books and it's great now to have a full selection so that the children can go all the way through and we know that they've got the right materials. Thank you much, Kingston Bookshop, for uh, that great contribution. Also want to thank Flo and Lime for what they've done. Flo's provided internet service, uh, which will open a whole new world of possibilities to, to the children and to the tutors. Lime has come on and refurbished. Uh, it started off as, can you refurbish one phone? But I understand that they we're so inspired again that they've refurbished phones around the hospital, again to the, to the benefit of, uh, of both the children here and the parents uh, when they are in here. And again, to flow in line, we want to pass on our, our, greatest, uh, our greatest appreciation. Going back to how we got here, um, it started and, and the hospital and we all owe a great gratitude to Lady Allen. Um, I know that she had been coming here and reading to the children for a long, long time and, and when we got to know Lady Allen and she invited Suzanne to, to come, they started coming regularly and it's expanded beyond that and more people getting involved. Um, most recently we've got a big commitment from Jen Scott, uh, part of the Muslims group and she's now starting to get involved which helps with refreshments and that for the students when, when they come. So it's been a growing group of, uh, of companies and individuals that have been gotten involved and certainly without Lady Allen's initial role in, in bringing attention to this, uh, we would not be here today as well. All of us here today understand the great work that Bustamante Hospital does uh, and the importance of the Learning Center. However, let me end with a quote from U.S. President Barack Obama who put it so well, and I quote, Life doesn't count for much unless you're willing to do your small part to leave our children, and that's all of our children, a better world, even if it's difficult to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity again to thank all of the sponsors, all of the volunteers for responding so generously to meet this need and to help ensure that we have continued good learning for the little patients here at Bustamante. Let this be an example to corporate Jamaica of the way we can bring volunteers and many organizations together to really make a difference both in the lives of children and to all of the need that we see in society in Jamaica. Thank you very much and God bless.